Oh, this seems cool. Um, what's, um, what? Oh, why, why is she kind of... What the... I, I need to make this. I have been inspired to make a kind of giant serpentine kind of enemy that can, you know, dig through ground and in, in the buildings and stuff. Usually in the game, they don't have legs, but this one does. So that's what I'm going to be uh, taking inspiration from. So without further ado, it is time to build. Okay, I got the uh, I got the model done. It ended up being more ant-like rather than uh, rather than like Eater of Worlds kind of style, but I still think it's cool nonetheless. How I think I want to make this work is to make each segment its own entity and give it a humanoid. I think that would allow some pretty cool behaviors. Like if you pop off one of them, the the rest of the body can continue like <laughs> going on and like uh, attacking people and stuff. I have this pretty cool module set up where there's going to be a basic worm behavior where it's just gonna crawl around and dig underground. However, I gave it a uh, compatibility where if you want to add extra attacks, you would just do so by adding a module script below it and it'll uh, run that every so often. So I gotta, I gotta go animate this thing. This thing uh, ain't doing so hot right right now without its, without its scripts. So, uh, okay, but yeah, it's time to animate and rig the creature. So BRB. So I ended up going with a worm-like enemy that has arms and legs because I thought that kind of appearance would uh, in instill more fear in, in uh, the, you know, the little Timmies of the world. So I don't know. I just thought I would have like a cooler, creepier kind of look. Sadly though, this means it will have to have a walking behavior, not so much a burrowing behavior, but that's fine. It can still crawl over stuff. And the animation part did not take long. I just gave it a skeleton and then queued up each animation to play right after the previous segment plays. So it uh, creates kind of a smooth walking thing. So yeah, this uh, part was pretty quick and it now functions like one big entity. Alrighty, righty our baby boy is all rigged up here. So the basic module with no extra plugins will uh, play two animations at most, an idle and a move. So that's what I have it set up to right here. So let's see if this works. <laughs> What the? Oh, wait, we have to name it. What should we name you? Uh, let's, um, I guess it would only be fitting if we uh, named it after Al Albert's, Albert's kid's name. That's not a bad word, right? What happens to oh, him again? Yeah. Wait. No, the child muncher! Fast! Okay, we can probably assume. We can just parent this to workspace, and we're not going to have any optional parameters for now. Oh, God. That's so cool. Oh, God. <laughs> That's so perfect. That is actually disgusting, but uh, that is what we went for. He, you know, stops, takes a look around, um, and then <laughs> and then uh, and then gets on the move. Uh, oh, this is gonna be so horrifying. I can just paste this module anywhere, and uh, I can turn anything into a worm entity now. You <laughs> okay? Um, oh, I love the purposeful delays between each segment taking a step, because that's how it works. It um, orders them all in a table and then waits a small amount of time before animating each step. So this is this is uh, looking good so far. I need to, um, well, now that that's done, uh, I guess we can get into uh, some of the more fun, um, you know, just human interactions, um, entity human interactions, I should say. Just, um, just add some little fun behaviors. What I'm uh, especially excited for is this little other module I've been working on, the uh, the destruction mod. So um, I I'm sure you could guess what, what this might be used for, but what's really cool is it can take whole parts, like this whole wall of the house and break break it up with like explosion physics. So it'll create like a small little blast hole right here, even though it's just one part. So uh, I'm gonna find a pretty creative way to use that, but uh, I'm gonna whip up some uh, fun behaviors uh, real quick. So I'll, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so the first iteration of the behaviors that I completed doesn't work well. Instead of using a model that followed the previous segment's path, it uh, made each segment of the worm create a new path, which can cause a lot of issues and they can like go rogue. So the first uh, attempts didn't go so smooth, but it eventually ironed itself out when I uh, adopted a new system that just followed the previous link's uh, path. Sadly, no, uh, no, no fun, no fun behaviors like shooting, eating, killing n n none of that is done yet this is just the movement but uh that'll that'll be pretty easy to add actually Alrighty, we got kind of a uh, behavioral prototype for for schmingit right here <laughs> it's kind of funny it it uh doesn't work at all 
<laughs> what the hell? He, he, he got there in the end, uh, but the, the movement tweens themselves are a little questionable. It's kind of... It's kind of... If you're wondering what that blue line shooting out of his skull is, that's his line of sight, actually. So it uh, follows wherever his head's facing. And I'm going to use that for detecting buildings to potentially crawl on, maybe? That would be really cool. But for a, for a first test, it's uh, it's clear we have some issues to address. What the hell? <laughs> But hey, it's uh, it's it's movement. So uh, I'll come back with a more refined, uh, refined behavior. We have had a technological revolution, and now there is a uh, Schmingent uh, stays together. He does, he he doesn't um, he doesn't dissolve anymore. He stays as one unit, and this is thanks to a new system that uh, makes all segments um, go to the n minus one segment uh, path, which basically means this part will go to where this part was a second ago, so that. They, they, they just don't spread out anymore. Oh, <laughs> that's horrifying. That's horrifying. Oh, no. Why is it twerking on me? Dude, <laughs> Please. Oh, he's like going. Ugh. Oh my God, that is horrifying. He's uh looking at the swing set because he has actually a built-in urge to uh chew up loads and loads of kids in his mouth. However, it is still not realistic enough. So I'm gonna make it so that he either crawls up walls or destroys them with a destruction module. So I'm gonna go implement that. I will see you in a bit. Okay, our beautiful boy is basically done. So to start, there's been a few uh, modifications to the code, but most important. Importantly, he get a Shemingatir can climb up buildings or just burrow through them. So uh, that's a pretty fun fact. Um, I also added an extra parameter to his initialization um, called hostile. So I, I'm sure you can uh, piece together the uh, the <laughs> the result of setting that to true. Um, the movement is fixed for the most part. There might still be a few strange. Uh, oh, oh, I forgot it. Oh, oh. Let's see what he does to this uh, grocery store. Oh, okay. You're just gonna... Oh, lovely. He's just gonna eat right through it. Okay. Uh, this rock surely will protect me. Oh! <laughs> I need to, uh, I need to, uh, open up my hacks. I want to get him, uh, I want to get him to climb. Let's see if we can get some climbing footage. <gasps> oh! Oh. He, he's just gonna descend back down. Okay, that's fine. Um, it was kind of an awkward angle anyway. Let me try again. Perfect! <laughs> Perfect. He just climbed up and down the Jolly Mart. That's so cool. Oh, God. All right. We're going to do house. House versus worm. I'm actually going to live in this house because I know I'm safe inside. Oh, what are the rock noises? What is that dust? Well, it's a good thing I'm actually safe in here. What is he doing? I just hear him like lurking around outside. Oh, the, there's a lot. Oh, God. What is this? <laughs> what the hell? My... It did, it did uh, some questionable things to this peaceful little home right here. <laughs> okay, I finally got to uh, working on the uh, additional behavioral add-ons that you can just slot right into the module, which is really convenient. And uh, and it, uh, it, it allows you to uh, add whatever you want to the behavioral loop. So you can get pretty creative with that and do anything uh, you want, really. There's no limit to what the module script can do, but I just used it for uh, like extra lethal abilities like energy <laughs> attacks and such. Well, uh, as I mentioned earlier, there is a fun feature of the module where you can slide uh, any behaviors you want to add. For example, we have Dragon's Breath mod. Slide that into place and it will automatically apply. So you can uh, really make it your own in a... In a horrifying little way. Um, oh God! Uh oh! You can really add whatever you want. Um, oh, climbing on the school. Oh, lovely! Please leave the school out of this. There will there will be kids in there. Oh, 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 oh! Thanks, thanks, man. Oh my God, that's so awesome. So uh, I'm gonna make a few more of these uh, fun little behavioral add-ons, and then uh, I'll go into uh, I'll go into a real server. The Dragon's Breath is just the start of uh, what we can do with this. So yeah, time to uh, cook up some more behaviors. Okay, uh, we're going in. I gave myself a very awesome command. So I'm gonna have a little game set up where uh, you know I have this this uh, this worm command, and uh, I can enter any length of the beast that I. Uh, 
I want it to be. So it could be anywhere from like three to 3,000 and it would just be a giant like worm. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off with a smaller creature and then we'll uh, work our way up to a uh, more uh, powerful, uh, more powerful creature. So <laughs> hey guys, mind if I introduce you to my new pet? Uh, yeah, that, that's what it is. Yeah, just a, just a pet. Now that I've given them the proper introduction, uh, I believe we can uh, deploy an organism, you know? Uh, I'm thinking length five. Oh, wait, hold on. I almost forgot. We have to make it so that uh, if they die, they die forever. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the hostile uh, box is checked. Uh, we're going to find out right now. Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot its line of sight is still visible. That's uh, kind of... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it after me? What the hell? Rai Rai Gamer. Oh, <laughs> that was a close one. It's on the store. No, never mind. It's crawling back down. Uh oh. Now that it's uh, now that it's nighttime, and the fact that I accidentally uh, murdered uh, all all but but two server members, <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna reset this. Okay, uh, we ha we have a fresh <laughs> we have a fresh batch. <laughs> Let's see what a, what a size 25 worm looks like. Oh no. Whoa! Oh god, I forgot each segment adds a, a blast attack. So, uh, oh, that one was pretty sizable. Um, you might want to. Oh, I feel like there's a poor family hiding on the second floor of that house. Oh, it's crawling up the house. There goes the roof. Okay. Oh man, <laughs> what is going on over there? That poor family. Who's in there? <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> These poor people. Oh, it's going up the tree for some reason. Oh hey. Oh. Oh. Oh, you really don't like the restaurant. Okay, I guess we're going this way now. Uh, yeah, F that one house in particular. I actually agree with you, Worm. Such a quirky little guy. Oh, yep, just kill the entire store. Anyone in there, just instantly. What is it doing up there? Oh, um, thank goodness that was uh, in that direction and not uh, anywhere else. All right, that's it. No more messing around. Oh, the rain uh, for dramatic effect has showed up. Length 200 worm. Let's go. Um, uh-oh. Why is it going up? What is, <laughs> what is wrong with it? They start to get a little quirky at the longer length. <laughs> Oh my god, what? Okay, I don't think we'll be seeing the other half anytime soon. <laughs> Whoa. What the freak is it doing? Uh-oh, it's launching an attack. It's like a cord. It's just like a giant knot right here, and then the rest of it's flat and clean. <laughs> it's like it, it's like it got tangled up in itself. What the crap is this cluster <laughs> right here? Oh, it's going even higher now. Okay. This is actually disgusting. What is this like system? It has go <laughs> Oh, that's neat. It like bent up to get on top of the store. Um I guess it's trying to go somewhere are we still have we made it onto the whole island yet nope there's still a good chunk just in, in, in midair <laughs> oh that's so creepy ew oh that's so cruel though okay oh the rain stopped okay i guess it's that's my sign to uh, leave these poor civilians alone <laughs> but with that being said super fun to script cannot wait to use this in many many other games and uh yeah uh, i guess that's it uh see ya Fused cheese tastes like a fireplace. Nope, I'm Madeline, a professional cheesemonger, and here's why. First off, ash rubbed or infused cheese is not a new thing. It's